the following panel discussion is very critical for an entrepreneur. At times, we take marketing and branding for granted. Now, marketing is a tool to branding, and branding is how you choose to define and express yourself, whether it's via the company or via an individual. So the following panel discussion is very key for you as an entrepreneur because what you put online can disadvantage you. <coughs> Most of the time, you know, I marvel at people checked in Sun City and you're holding your Hanneken and you're holding your Johnny Walker. And then the next thing when your client looks at your profile and they're thinking, ah, he's holding a Hanneken beer, Johnny Walker, which is not bad, but it's a risk for my company to outsource such a service because that alcohol or you holding that bottle can communicate a lot of connotations, whether it's irresponsibility, whether it's not to be trusted. Now let me tell you something. Values such as commitment, competency, you cannot buy at a shop. It's either you have it or you don't. And today businesses function on that. If you don't have time management, if you don't have reputational management, if you reply to an email five days later when it arrives today, it begs the question about the quality of your services. So it's not about outsourcing black businesses or black excellence or white businesses. It's about outsourcing a business purely. Now the excellence and the pillars of your business are communicated through marketing. And the following panel discussion and the speakers that have made themselves available to discuss this will communicate this effectively. The first gentleman that I'm privileged to introduce to this stage are uh, from an amazing online and media company called The Grid Sports Media. Please do research them. It's www.gridsports.co.za. It is Mr. Mnaiti Mabona and Mr. Pila. You know, he was training me on pronouncing his setting, but that road. So I guess you will then clarify that for me. They are from The Grid Sports Media and it's an online company that facilitates uh, advertising and marketing online. Can you please give them a round of applause? <laughs> so they are both the co-founders of this company. As you can see, marketing, very chilled, very casual. Gentlemen, thank you very much. The next person that I'll be introducing is Chabulani Tabete. We were privileged the following is Jablani Tabete. He is the founder of My Diary Concepts and also the Barefoot Concept. I am so inspired by this young man who encourages individuals to collect shoes uh, for you know the disadvantaged schools and communities. And I want him to speak about his story where he'll then educate us and inform us about what his organization is doing in terms of a marketing and a social media perspective. Can we please give him a round of applause? <laughs> Fantastic, gentlemen. So the first thing, I think that seat is for me, you know, the walking and the talking. Um, that's all right. So audience, you are welcome to ask questions. I'll just be asking a few questions just to start this preliminary session off. May I please request just a one minute introduction of what your company is about, especially in the marketing, media, and advertising space. And how are you surviving as a young entrepreneur? You know, we have 30% of the population in Africa alone is young people. By 2020, this population will be looking at 60%. So how are you then engaging in that sector? Can we start with you, Mr. Good afternoon, my name is um, Eddie. I'm the co-founder of uh, Great Sports. Um, in essence, you know, when we started Great Sports, um, we, we had a clear vision that this would be a stepping stone um, to bigger things. So primarily, um, I think, you know, the biggest misconception is that to start up um, a project like this costs you loads and loads of money, but um, purely we driven on, you know, on passion, and um, by and large our focus is also um, on content. So uh, in a nutshell, it's 
that's basically partnering with the right people who have a passion for sports and then who also want to get their views out there. So um, primarily we, we fund everything ourselves and we, we just partner with, with the right people. And um, so it's basically content and partnerships. And that's it. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Perhaps you could add. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, just to add, basically, I mean, as you can see, it's 100% black owned, and main focus, or basically what we saw in the market is that there is quite a gap in terms of, there is quite a gap in terms of uh, reaching out to the people. I mean, if someone is at work, they always have their cell phone with them, or a tablet, or they're in front of a PC, because you don't necessarily now have to go back home in order for you to get your sports update. So when we saw, what we saw basically was that there's a gap where people are using cell phones, tablets, PCs, we can actually engage with those people in updating them on the current affairs of the sporting world basically. So all sports that you, that you love, we try and cover as much as possible from your American NBAs to South African rugby soccer, to European rugby, to soccer, to basically we try and encompass everything as a whole into one uh, package. Thank you very much. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Jabu. Yes, 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 uh, our sisters. Um, I'm Jablana, born in Katlong, raised in Katlong. The brand comes from Katlong. Um, my diary concept started when I uh, used my money from, I was supposed to go to Tishari and then I had something that said, start a marketing and events business. So what I've seen, um, most of the brands in South Africa, like they don't have, they don't, they are not protected. Sure. So I started a, a, my diary concept in order for people to write data on their diaries because it's a diary, first of all. And then um, I've saw, I've seen some couple of celebrities following them. Okay, they, sometimes they are not protected. Okay, I then I did public relations work for Harrison Crop, the house agent from USA which taught me a crucial thing on social media, I deal with digital most of the time. Sure. So because digital, everything is, is in, the, in the internet now. So why would you waste money and like, give people the, 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 the paper as well, they will know, they will tear them up. So digital plays a crucial role. So is when my company basically deal with digital marketing most of the time, like your website, your Facebook, Twitter, I, we manage them. It's digital marketing. Sure. As like young, um, as young entrepreneurs, most of the time they're using Facebook just like as you explained earlier on. Like they use Facebook to, you know, don't be there with some No, that doesn't work <laughs> when you're an entrepreneur. You have to protect your brand. Most of the times you have to write things that will gonna sell you as a person and also sell you as a business. So it's what I've seen in the townships most of the times that when I approach these different artists and celebrities and also shopping malls. Last day I, was, I had the privilege to work with one of the malls back here in our neighborhood to do their marketing for two, for twice a year. Because most of them, they, they just go outside, outsource the marketing company, the big marketing companies. But that taught me, as a marketing young guy, who don't know anything. I don't have any diploma, but I'm studying it. So it's what I've learned, like to become one of the youngsters, which led me to have, as you explained earlier on, to have the foundation which is called Hope for Africa Foundation, has Barefoot Work for Change, to do the CSI's projects for, for the people to understand that as an entrepreneur, you give back. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Can you give them a round of applause? I'm going to be unconventional, and I'm going to ask the SMEs that are present here, is there anybody in the marketing industry? Who is in marketing? Please raise your hands. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Five at the back. All right. Sir, I'm going to ask you to join me on the panel. And then what we'll do, we'll rotate with everybody that is in marketing here. Because I want us to, you know, sometimes we sophisticate things. Let's go to the core. I need you as SMMEs to communicate what are the challenges in your business. Because one of them is marketing. And we need to know as a company, as an SME that is in marketing, what is it that you can help your clients with or what are the challenges that you're going through in terms of developing? So, where is it? Okay. Can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us from an SME perspective on this one? Yes. 
That's why I have to stand. But I want the chair because my yeah. <laughs> um, Please introduce yourself and your organization that you're from. Okay, um, hi, my name is Tipiso Matita. Okay. And I am from 84 Brand Street. Okay. Um, 84 Brand Street is basically a company that I started. Um, it's my second company. What happened is um, I had a company before that, okay. um, which was doing marketing still, but because I did it, I wasn't aware of the many complexities of business in general. Um, it flopped, so um, I had to try it again, and I came back with this new concept, which was um, 84 Brand Street. So 84 Brand Street is basically um, we basically focused on experiential marketing and our focus is on fashion brands. And what we do is we try and create an experience around um, brands in general and we, we, we basically try and um, bring out the utility of the brand sure. instead of just the fashion part of it. Because you'll find that with, um, you'll get like uh, your, your Adidas and your whatever, people don't really know what the shoe is for. Um, your vibes is for more girl, more for skaters and whatever. So basically that's what we do. We just oh, try to create... that thought for me. What is marketing as a creative specialist? Because you're mentioning your company, which is fantastic. So you're working in a creative industry. Yeah. What is marketing? And put it in layman's language so that I, as a small SME, can understand what it is. Okay. Um, for me, marketing is basically a language that businesses speak with the, the consumer, with the end user. It's basically an experience around a brand. Okay, thank you for that. Nadi, can you extend on what marketing is? And perhaps you can help us understand what are the myths and misconceptions around marketing? All right. No. Well, your mic is on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, we can incorporate technology in this then. I think. I think everybody would be um, would benefit more if I actually just maybe go go into explaining ex exactly um, what it takes to to set up um, a website because um, ultimately as SMEs the, the first um, step we take when we're looking at establishing websites is basically to outsource the websites so. If you guys can take out your pens and papers, I'll give you 40 rands. Um, you know, how you can set up your website for 40 rands. Okay. Well, please give us those tips. Like <laughs> okay. Take out your pens and papers to get. You know? Okay, so the first thing you do uh, when you're going to establish a website, you need to go to uh, find a company that's going to host your website. Okay. Um, if you're not sure how to do this, so basically Google is your best friend and YouTube is your best friend. Okay? So, after you host, find any hosting company. So basically when you get there, you need to do uh, two things. You need to buy a domain. Domain is www.yourcompany. Okay? They normally sell that. So once off fee, 100 rands, you done. Okay. And then, second part, you need to then rent that domain from the hosting company for 40 rands a month. That's your cost, we duck. Second step, we go to YouTube, we Google WordPress. How to just, um, um, you know, install WordPress and set up your website. Follow the instructions on YouTube, you're done, that's your website, done. Wow, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> are those the four points covered? That's it. Sure. There's nothing there. complicated. You have an about page, home page, you set it up, YouTube will show you exactly how to do it. There's nothing fancy. Everybody should know this. You don't have to pay ten thousand euros for this. It's only if there's, func it's only if there's, there's functional aspects to the website where you need to get somebody who's technical about it. Yeah. Wow. But for all SMEs, stop wasting your money on people creating websites. Wow. YouTube will show you how to do this. Okay. Um. Uh, in the last eleven minutes that we have, Pilar. Can you help us then explain what are the tools online that we can use for operations as an SMME? I mean, let me just say that, you know, as an SMME, it's very difficult. Your last 10,000 that you have, you don't really want to spend it on 
a budget for marketing, you don't have that. So what are the tools that we can use online for marketing? And maybe Jabu, after his answer, you can extend on that question. Uh, okay, just to elaborate on the tools factor, I mean, for us, uh, as our business, we started it I mean, from just using a mobile phone. Everything that is spoken about here all started from a mobile phone, and now you can actually see it on your tablet, on your PC, on your phone as well. Sure. So basically, I mean, there's platforms now like your on your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Google Plus. Sure. I mean, those are those are some of the <clears throat> some of the tools that we use to basically amplify. Our, our, our website and sure. basically just to create more awareness for people on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on basically on what are the ins and outs or what's happening currently in the sporting in the sporting world. Fantastic. Thank you. Jabu, can you um, learn that? Why is marketing important for business, especially a small business? Okay. Um, like I remember telling one of my friends that you need to put a board, he's, he's just put a board in his gate. Okay. This is how his business has expanded. A, board, a small board. Okay. So I told him, okay, why don't you put a board outside, maybe people can see in the main road. Sure. So as a small business, you don't need a much budget to, to market your business, but to just to put your board in a busy place, a small board that people will see and have a unique, because when you're a marketer, you become creative and you talk with your customers, which is an important thing. So when we say, okay, I'm selling this, now I can give someone to sell me a pen. It's between you communicating between your you are a seller, you communicate you communicate with your buyers. Sure. So when you advertise, you have to be unique and don't advertise what you have seen from other people. So what I would like to tell people like you can spend like five hundred on a small board and then you can like that is something which is called supporting marketing. Okay. Yes. So invest in that. Yes. Um oh, just basically looking at um this is basically our Twitter handle, Twitter, both Twitter handles. And if you look at the impressions, for example, on Grid Sports and at Sabelo PB, you have 15,300, 15, um, Jacob is wow. right now. <laughs> 15,300 impressions on, the, on, our, on our Twitter handle. So basically, I mean, if you look, if you look at a thing like impressions on your social media, it's very important. So that means that 299,000 people actually saw your tweet. Wow. So which means that they don't have to engage. They just saw what you've written and they okay. scroll past it. And if you look at, uh, that's Instagram, that's Facebook. So on a, in the past seven days, you have about 31,200 people that have actually seen Whatever you've posted, whatever you've wow. you've uh, updated onto onto your this Facebook is page, this is under sports. this is just under Grid Sports, and then you'll have your Instagram here. But then this is just a breakdown of your demographics. Basically. We're gonna upload this on our website, so at least you will all have yes. access. You know, the the finance panel did go past, so we do understand the mathematical okay. analysis. Okay. You know, just to add, mm -hmm. the reason why I'm. I'm revealing this information, not to destroy your business. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we need to start competing on an equal footage, on ideas and content. Um, the minute then we can, uh, you know, put aside, um, you know, the misconceptions we have about these things, the minute will rise quicker as Africa. What do you think is a key challenge? For SMME that is in the marketing industry, what is the key challenge and what do we need? Maybe we can get one of the other guys that I pointed out, just two of you, just to come forward and give us insights as well. Yes. Um, I yes. think one of one of the biggest uh, challenges um, that uh, small marketing companies are faced with is the know-how. I think even with something like this. Um, for, for, for what I've seen in terms of pricing and the way that small marketing companies price something like this. Okay. Just like you say, we overprice things that we shouldn't and we underprice things that we should, you understand? So I think it's the know-how and just the basic education around marketing and Thank yeah. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, closing remarks in literally 20 seconds. Right. Advice to SMMEs about marketing. I loved the tip that you gave. 40 rand. That's a headbreaker from McDonald's. 40 rand.
percent to pull over the side. Okay. Tipi, so maybe you can close for us? Um, I'd just like to say, um, I think we should all look at marketing holistically as a house. And if your company doesn't have marketing services, it's like a house without lights. And no one, does, wow. no one wants to live in a house without lights. Wow. Um, just in closing, you know, we started Brew Sports with um, the idea that we wanted to celebrate, you know, our own lack of achievements in our own way without any um, restrictions. Because if you look at who owns the media in this country, it's by and large, um, you know, capital in a certain race. Um, so the minute we can move past then these smaller challenges, we can all come on board. So in, in essence, what we're doing here, we're not just promoting Brit Sports. We say tomorrow, if Brit Sports goes down, you go open your own company, your own news agency. Let's hear the news from your own websites. You know? Okay. He said it all. He said it all. Okay. So, like, I would like to tell the SMEs, what one thing is, my, your, 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 your business is your brand. Look what you do, firstly, because when you do most of the things, it's gonna affect your business. Start to inspire other young, young entrepreneurs who are coming under you. But marketing your business is very important. You are a brand when you walk and walk and have the image of, of being like a millionaire when you're not a millionaire. Ah, wow. That is your brand. So you're a brand, treat yourself like a brand. If you're a to, if you want to be like in Sipe, be like the one who them. Be branded like you say that. Brand yeah. your business like you say that. Use your last money and brand it. So, fake it till you become it. Well, yes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Can we take two questions or three questions? Okay. One, I know I was supposed to invite you guys, but for the sake of time, you know, I had you. Um, so, ask a question that the panel can uh, um, answer. So, we've got one. Anybody else? Two. Okay. Three at the back. Thank you. Hello. Right. Hello, everyone. Huh? Uh, my name is Steven Seafo from uh, Mabebeza newspaper. Yeah, it's a community newspaper here in Florida. Uh, I'd like to ask the four guys the personal input in uh, What do you think of the potential uh, of solving the youth unemployment crisis in this country using marketing? Because countries like the United States have big expensive companies that was from the depression side. So we're having our own mini depression here of high unemployment, inequality, and all the things you have mentioned as challenges. So how can you guys, in your marketing companies, have maybe sustainable solutions that are outside your offering, that are maybe CSI or development related in terms of giving young people and communities sure. a chance? So I think John, you, you could to answer that. Okay. Um, okay, firstly, on my business, I take my students who are doing a gap year most of the times and work with them and teach them about marketing. It's part of creating jobs. When you do events, like I give them, okay, guys, I'll give you 500 bucks. And also, I teach them to give back. When you're with someone big, or like the little we have, you have to take care of the next neighbor who doesn't have anything. Is why we introduce barefoot walk and part of the sanitary gifts that give a dignity to your girl. Those kind of projects we teach the, the people out there to keep this mind, the, the, the mind that say, with am next. So, let the say, keep high, but you buy with your eye. Go say, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the Yeah, a direct translation. So, we're going to remove the mentality that we don't have. So, the poverty mentality, okay? Of Roger that. The Africans also don't know the languages. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, um, from our side at uh, Chris Sports, I mean, we Can even. We, one second? Yeah. Oh, jeez. We even have um, guys that are writing sports stories for us. I mean, some of them are in Durban and Cape Town. And some guy, a guy that we actually haven't even met that we've been working with for the past year, <clears throat> paid his salary, but he also delivers on his on his end as well. And basically, I mean, earlier there was a guy, Henry, who spoke about risk at times as well. I think also some of us also need to take that risk and say, you know what, this is how far we're willing to go, and let's just go and do it and see what happens from there. Thank you so much.
question too quickly? Uh, it's not a question, it's oh. just a comment. Fantastic. I just wanted to say in what they, just to add on what they said, that, you know, in, in, in marketing, advertising and research is very important. I've realized that most of the people don't make it because they don't research in the space that they are in. And they expect to, you don't prosper if you don't know what's going on sure. around you. We have Coca-Cola, everybody knows Coca-Cola. But every year they come with three or four adverti I mean adverts and new adverts, but they're still making those adverts despite the fact that they are known worldwide. Sure. Thank you very much for that. Last one right there at the back, the very, very last one. Yeah. Ah, ah, the last one is there. <laughs> no, we're not forcing it. No, we're not in the picture. No, babe, the last one is there. Right, right at the back. We'll, we'll consider coming back to you. Right, right at the back. I didn't choose you, though. I've, I've got the yeah. mic already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't. Let's do things right in the end. Can I find you? Come on, yeah. Okay, um, I'm also in a marketing background, so I'm really excited that there's a lot more people, young people in this space. Mine is more of a comment though, um, in that um, the guys that what you've been sharing is more of an implementation, but what is really important is strategy. You can't go into implementation if you don't know who you are, what you stand for, and where you're going. Um, and that's something that my personal company is also trying to strive to bridge that gap. Great. Because in, in essence, it's like economics, you are bridging the gap between demand and supply, but you need to know who you are and awesome. where you want to go in that respect. Thank you so much for that. We, we applaud you for, for being in the marketing industry. Thank you. It's a very good industry. Thank you for choosing me. <laughs> um, okay. I keep on giving the time. I just want to just add on, on what uh, everyone else has alluded to to say um, what also is important in marketing is for you to master your product okay. in and out. You know, you must know the people that you're catering for and also where you position and how you position your product and also the place, the four P's of marketing. That's very important. Okay. You said the four what of marketing? Yes. The four P's. Place, price, product, yeah, yeah. Promotion. I know how to do that. Yes. <laughs> Can you please give them a round of applause? This is fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you very much. They are still available to take your questions and they are still available to explain more of their services to you. Please, guys, invest in your company from a marketing perspective. You heard about the 40 rand. Some of us need that, you know that. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll take your seat.